Also tonight, how a father's persistence and a unique medical approach led to a man's remarkable recovery from a tra traumatic brain injury. This is ABC 7 News at 6. Coming up here tonight, a possible breakthrough in the treatment of people with severe brain injuries. Up next, we'll show you how technology used to help memory could give people a second chance. Traumatic brain injury is the most common cause of death in adults under age 45. And for those who do survive, getting back to normal can be extremely difficult. But as ABC 7's health and science reporter Carolyn Johnson explains, a computer first developed to improve memory is now being tested on people recovering from brain injury. A 37 foot cabin cruiser came out while I was driving on the water and I went right into the side of them. And I was paralyzed. That impact on a Texas lake two years ago crushed Ryan Reitmeyer's skull. His prognosis for survival? Grim. He was not recognizable. He had taken the full impact of, a, of an accident. I looked at the doctor, we looked at the CAT scan, and he said, um, I just said, can you save his life? The surgeon told Ryan's father, Doug, he thought he could save him, but warned Ryan would likely never speak again, never live independently. I said, well, you go ahead and save his life. We'll take it from there. Because if anybody will prove you wrong, it'll be Ryan. Ryan spent two weeks in a coma, more than a month in the intensive care unit. Four months later, though, he was walking again and talking, but he had no memory at all. Doug recalls leaving a restaurant with his son. I was behind him and kind of assisting him out. And he looks at me and he says, well, when are we going to eat lunch? And I said, Ryan, we just ate lunch. No, we didn't. I'm hungry. But Doug didn't give up. He was convinced his son's brain could be rewired with the right tools. His research led him to renowned UCSF neurologist and neuroscience pioneer Michael Merzenich. We understand now that the brain is continuously capable of, of positive change that at any age you can be driven in a corrective direction using the right behavioral approaches. Dr. Merzenich founded Posit Science based on the principle that the brain is a plastic organ and will continue to improve given the right tools. Click on the bank. Posit's brain fitness program is one such tool. Clinical research has found the exercises improve memory and processing speed in older adults. Doug Reitmeyer believed the science could help Ryan as well. I said, well, what if I brought the TBI client to you and you guys can do all the research you want. Just give me access to your tools, research and technology. When Ryan began the exercises, he processed information very slowly. He was able to initiate it, but he was pretty primitive and pretty disorganized in his operations and actions. This had a big impact on him, and it really, really enabled him to, re to respond in a controlled way, and it dramatically improved his speech. So ultimately, from baseline to day 50, what changes did you see? Oh, it was, it, it was incredible. I mean, you went from no memory to having a substantial memory. I love it. I really love it. It's a great program. Ryan's neuropsychologist was guarded about Ryan's potential for progress given the severity of his injury. Certainly I am astonished, really, at how far he has come. He is operating at a level of independence I just never would have predicted. Dr. Jim Misko calls it the most remarkable recovery he's seen in his 20 years of practice. Ryan is now living on his own again, even driving. Dr. Merzenich believes he will continue to improve, as will the technology Posit offers. One of the beautiful things about this approach, it's not like a drug where you have a chemical compound which is unchangeable. You know, we can devise a strategy for Ryan, and that strategy can be ultimately changed and improved over and over and over again. Three years from now, we will provide much more complete and elaborate training uh, tools for someone like Ryan. Now, more controlled research is needed to prove the program's effectiveness on the brain injured. In the meantime, Posit has partnered with Easter Seals, offering its brain fitness program to returning Iraqi war vets who are suffering from brain injury. We have a special obligation and duty to these young men and women, and uh, we're going to help them. 
As for Ryan, the love and support of his family, who refused to believe the worst-case scenario, no doubt played a major role in his recovery. But his father is convinced Ryan wouldn't be where he is today without posit science. I can't thank this company and the people that run this company enough uh, for all that they've done to help us and help us believe that all, all things are possible. Carolyn Johnson, ABC 7 News. Just phenomenal. Remarkable story. Yeah. Mm. Wow, his father is incredible.